Hi, today I would like to show you a function from Ideastatica connection with the name working plane. With the working plane, you can create some plane in the model of the connection and attach some uh, another operations to this working plane. So it's good if you don't have the right angle and you cannot uh, use, for example, uh, some cut operation, so you can cut with the working plane. My name is Ivan Belesh and I am support engineer for Scia and Idea Statica. Now we are in Idea Statica. I have prepared one model. This is a horizontal member and this is some member with an inclination in both directions and I would like to add here some some gusset plate and cut this gusset plate parallel with this one member which is not very easy if you want to add some chamfer you have to test the distances and, and look at it and optically adapt but with the working plane it's a little bit easier so we go to the operation this is here working plane and working plane you can uh, uh, attach to some coordinate system or to member or to some plate i think to the joint member or plate so we use the member local coordinate system we use the coordinate system of the member two it's perpendicular to it it's in x y direction so we have we have to change the angle so this is the correct angle which we want to use. What we need is a little bit offset. Let's say, I don't know, 100, 100 looks, looks okay. Set 130, it's better. So, and now I use the operation cassette plate. It's very simple. It's everything predefined. I will change only the dimensions, 8 millimeters, 400, 300 millimeters to have some distances and we will go with the notch into the member to don't have collision between the plate and the member. And now I would like to cut this plate around this line. So, and we have our cassette plate, our, our um, working plane, so I can add new operation. It, this was with the right mouse button. Cut off plate, and we want to cut the gusset plate. This is the only one plate which we have with the, not with the member, but with this working plane. We have only working plane one, and you can select the remaining part. It was correctly on plus. You can select also offset if you want. And that's all. So it's very easy. So this is one function which you can uh, use where you can use the working plane. But there is also another little bit hidden functionality. If you make a copy of the project and we change it to FATIC analysis, then in the FATIC analysis you can use working planes to display stresses on lines, uh, they are created by cutting of members with this working plane. So we are in this connection too, and I will create a new operation. So back. So we have one reference file. So because we really don't want to calculate some uh, differences of stresses. This is the goal of the um, FATIC analysis is calculate uh, the differences in stresses between some reference load case and another all another load cases. So, but I don't want to calculate some difference. I want to have the stresses. Therefore, my reference load case will be with zero loads. So we will change these loads to zero and create a new load with this 300 kilonewton tension force in this uh, member M2. So that, was, uh, that means the difference is for us between zero and the stresses, that means the stresses itself. So now 
we need a new operation and this is this uh, again the working plane i will change this angle no and this one both no ah moment this is in joint we have to go to the member and member one and yes this is the right angle i want wanted to cut it in the length direction and to get the stresses for the fatigue analysis you have to activate this fatigue create fatigue section so and now we have to run the calculation simply bite a little bit okay and you see this is a section if you go to the checks and you click on it then you get directly the stresses along these members and because it's the difference between zero and our load then it's stressed directly from this load so you can use the working plane for the modeling and also for the analysis in the fatigue analysis so it was a very short video thank you very much